my name is John. Welcome to a short video about Google and Blackberry pudding in a microwave. If you're expecting to see Leah's milling machines and TIG welders, you have watching the wrong video. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it. Debs went for a walk yesterday and she picked some blackberries with her sister. And she brought them home and she just says, John, you haven't done a cooking video for a while. So I thought, okay, I've got a bit of time. We'll make a simple blackberry pudding and I'm going to cook it all in the microwave. It's the sort of thing that lad, even lads can do. It's quite easy to cook, it's good food and it really does taste nice. Anyway, let's get on with it and I'll show you how I go about cooking blackberry puddings in the microwave. Right, these are the ingredients, very simple. I've got some blackberries, they've been soaked in a little bit of salt and water overnight just to get any nasty creepy crawlers out of them. I've got two ounces of butter or margarine, whatever you prefer, two ounces of sugar, two ounces of self raisin flour, and a nice free range egg. Need a mixing bowl. Into the mixing bowl goes the sugar. The butter. This is blended together to a paste really. It takes a little bit to get it going, but once it starts to mix up, it's not too bad. This is not really what you would call a health food, but I think once in a while it won't do you any harm. Right, we're getting somewhere now. I'm just going to put a little bit of flour in before I put the egg in. I don't know why, just somebody said that's what you're supposed to do. Right, so that's the butter and the sugar all mixed up. Next the egg. Don't want any bits of shell. You don't have to put blackberries in this, so you can use jam or treacle or any tin fruit really, it's very versatile. Like you just leave it as it is and get a nice like a sponge cake. Right, next goes the flour. Don't forget, serve so raisin flour, otherwise your cake will be flat and heavy. Right then we'll give some technology to things now and Use something to be better to mix it with. I used to always use a Makita mixer, but I find that the walk gives a much, much smoother mix. The speed control is much more variable, and of course, it has got a hammer action in case you want to do any masonry work with it. Try and get as much air in the mix as you can. Debs has got this splendid device for scraping clean the edge of a bowl when you're mixing. Really is nice. A little bit more mix. Really making it as light as possible as you can. The more air you're going to hear, the lighter it's going to be the result of your cake. Right, that's it. Right, this is the bowl I'm going to be cooking in. I'm just going to do a, a light roll with a little bit of butter just so the cake won't stick. What they call grease in the bowl. Right. I want to put a few blackberries in the bottom. I'm going to put a layer of the cake mix.
more blackberries. Right, and the last of the cake mix goes on top. Clumsy pasta. Really is a clever tool for getting all the last little bits out. I do like tools that have been designed and do a job quite well. Let's move it out a little bit. I'm going to use some cling film just to cover the top of the bowl. I absolutely hate this stuff. I have no success with it at all. I'm not allowed to use it when Debs is here because. This is what happens to it. I don't know how you are supposed to get it off the roll without this happening. Honestly, it's it's unbelievably horrible stuff. Every time I go near it, this happens, and then she gets niggly. Right, we're getting somewhere now. I've actually managed to get a little bit of cling film off the roll just to cover the bowl. Just a very, very small hole. Right, that's now ready to go in the microwave. Right, into the microwave on full power for between two and a half to three and a half minutes. We'll try it at 230 and have a look. Right, as you can see, it's has risen substantially and that's still cooking it certainly feels cooked right, this definitely looks cooked what you can do is you put a clean if you put a clean knife into it it comes out dry there's no stick in the bottom so it's definitely cooked there you go, that's what it's for Tell you, I think. Oh, well, look at that. All the lovely blackberries. Leave some more dabs. You see what I mean? It would have been cooked all the way through. Right, some nice ambrosia custard, cold custard, hot pudding. Perfect. Once again, it's just time to see it. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and bon appetit, bon yard. Honestly, that is, from a mate of here, that is unbelievable. Unbelievably good. So, mate of yours, gone just for one pies up here. You can actually cook things in them. Once again, thanks for watching. Perfect. The simple things in life, perfect.